I'm going to show you the third hand rule, which I think is going to hopefully be something new for you, or maybe you've seen it this way. But the third hand rule, uh, this is when you're supposed to be using, it's for a moving charge or wire in a magnetic field. Uh, most people have learned it like this. This is how I learned it like this. We've taught like FBI and this kind of things, but I never quite liked this. And I'm such a nerd, I love, and I mean that in a nice way. I uh, I really like being a nerd. Isn't it the time of the nerd? Nerds sort of rule the world now, so I'm really glad for that. Um, so this is true story, actually. When I st started dating uh, Inge, who is now my wife, uh, when we first started dating, I mean, she knew that I was a big old nerd, so uh, we sort of had this rule that, you know, we each had to teach each other things from our own lives or from our own sort of backgrounds and interests. And so I had her watch Star Wars, the original three movies. So if you remember, uh, these are the ones that came out in the 70s and 80s. Um, so the last of those movies is called Return of the Jedi. And in that movie, so she and I were watching this, and this is a true story. I imagine I'm, I'm trying to impress this Danish girl. Um, we're just sitting and watching this movie. And I remember I was, I was teaching these classes uh, during the days. And then, you know, I see Inga at night. So we're watching this movie. We're sitting down on the couch. We're watching it. And sure enough... We see this scene near the end of the movie. Uh, can you see this right here? This is this sort of mean emperor here. And he's shooting out sort of lightning bolts from his hands. And I remember this, this is so ridiculous. I actually stopped, I was like, hold on. I pressed pause. I went and wrote some things down. And Inga was like, what are you doing? I was like, I've just changed how I teach uh, physics. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this trick. So I'm gonna use Star Wars to help explain the hand rules. Let's just take a look at this right here. So this evil emperor, he was sort of shooting out lightning beams from his hands, right? So that's why I'm going to hopefully uh, blow your minds here. So this one, there is a left hand rule and there's a right hand rule. And that's because you could have a charge that's moving in a magnetic field. So imagine it's a little charge, it's zipping along, or it could be current. So it could be a wire. In other words, here I'm gonna say current. So if you have current, that's in a magnetic field, then that's also going to be the case. So there, here, there will be a left-hand rule and a right-hand rule. Now this is gonna be uh, really silly here, so I'm gonna say left-hand rule, that's for negative charges. So that's the only thing that we use for left-hand rule. Everything else we're gonna use the right-hand rule for. So this will be for positive things, and I'm gonna say, or current. So if you have a current going on, you do this, at least in the IB, you use your right hand rule for this. Okay. So that's because you're using the conventional current, so it's a direction of positive, so that's why. So either positive particles, or if you have current in a wire, it's gonna be the current, okay? So positive particles or current, here it's negative particles, and that's it for left hand rule. This is really lame, now keep in mind, this is how I remember them, is I use my left hand, because I call them, this is so dumb, I'm so embarrassed. I nickname electrons. See, instead of electrons, I call them electrons. That reminds me to use my left hand. That's so dumb, I know. Because um, I, I think the mirror, I think the image is reversed when you see me. So this is my left hand. I'm holding up my left hand, but I think you'll see it that way. So anyway, my own left hand, that's how I would do it. So the way I learn this is, the way I like to use these hand rules is, hold your hand like this. This is how we're going to do the hand rules, like this. Okay, and hopefully that's gonna make some sense. So let's see actually how you do it. So first of all, I'm going to attempt to draw a left hand just like this. So I'm gonna to try to draw my hand like this. I'm gonna to try to draw a right hand like this. Okay, so watch carefully my amazing, awesome artistic uh, powers here. You're not gonna be impressed at all, but basically there's my hand. I'm trying to draw fingernails here. Uh, no, the pinky shouldn't be the longest finger, but oh well, that's my hand there. And then this one here is this one here, same thing. Okay, so you can probably draw it better than I can, so there we go. So I'm still drawing a thumb, and I can see all the fingernails. Can you draw it better than me? I hope so. But basically draw this, or sort of draw it looking like this for you. Okay, so draw so you can see the fingernails and the thumbs. If you've done this, then here's how we're going to define things. So this is gonna be really awesome here. This is how I do it. From now on, uh, this is how I draw things. So I have totally abandoned this stupid trick like this. I don't like it. Now I just think of Star Wars. And the reason is I'm inspired by that evil emperor. He's shooting out lightning memes from his fingernails, right? Or his fingertips. So I'm going to draw these right here are gonna be magnetic field lines. So the fingers are gonna be magnetic field. See, just like him sort of shooting out these lightning bolts, I imagine I'm shooting out these arrows, see? It's a little bit lame, I know, but there you go. 
Next, we have to have something with a force. Don't they use the word force a lot in Star Wars, especially in the original movies? They're always like, use the force, Luke. So that's why there's a force involved here too. So the way I think of it is this. If I want to push you away from me, when I sort of force you away from me with my palm, so I think about the palm is the force. So I force you away from me by using the palm. Now, how do I draw the palm here? The palm is actually sort of into the page. So what I'm going to do here, I hope it's okay with you. I'm going to draw maybe in red, I'll draw it. I'll draw it with an X because X means, you know, sort of into the page. So here I'll draw X like this. I'm going to say palm because it's not so obvious. Say palm is the force. Same thing here, palm. Oops, I shouldn't put it here. I should put it on this side. Oops, I should put it here. I should say palm is the force. So again, you can force something away from you by using the palm and forcing it away. Then finally, I'm going to have my direction here. So in this case right here, that's my thumb. My thumb is the direction of the velocity of these particles, so either that way or that way. Or in the case of a current, it's the current. So if you have, remember I said in positive particles, then it'll be the velocity of that particle. Or if it's a current, it'll be the direction of the current, only for your right hand. For your left hand, it'll just be the direction of the negative particle, like in a left tron. Ha -ha. So I hope this makes sense. You're just going to use these hand rules right here like this. Just use your hands, and let's see if we can apply them to some situations here. So now I've got some examples for you, okay? Ready? Here we go. First, we have an electron, and it moves to the right in a magnetic field that's directed into the page. Draw the electron's path. So you can see I have my little negative particle here and it's moving to the right. I have my magnetic field lines, which are X's because they go into the page. So think very carefully. Do you use left or right hand rule? I hope you remember because of my dumb little trick. It's a electron. So use, this is my left hand here. So use your left hand. Okay, so get out your left hand. And what I want you to do is place your fingers into the page. So if this here was the page behind me, for example, you would use your left hand and you would place your fingers into the page. Now, where do you place your thumb? Your thumb goes in the direction of the velocity. So in this case, my thumb has to be to the right. Does that make sense now? So now for you, it would be like this. Fingers into the page and thumb to the right. Which way does your palm point? Can you see your palm has to point downwards? So because of that, because do it on the on this page here on this image now okay so do it right here so you should point your fingers your left hand fingers into the page your thumb to the right and hopefully you'll see that that means your palm has to point downwards so because of that your path of your particle your in this case your electron is going to curve downwards it's going to actually curve in a circle this is actually the process when you have this uh, mass spectrometer i talked about in another video this is exactly what's going on you have an unknown particle in this case it's negative and it's got a magnetic field there, then you know it's going to curve. And the radius of curvature, it turns out, will tell you the mass of the particle, in case you didn't know what it was. But in this case, this electron will curve downwards. It'll make a little circle. Cool, huh? Now let's look at this. Now we have another situation. A proton this time, which is positive. It moves to the right in a magnetic field, and the magnetic field lines are directed upwards this time. Draw the path of the proton. Think very carefully. Do you need left or right hand rule? because you'll be like this, you should use your right hand, shouldn't you? So use your right hand. So get out your trusty right hand. Here's mine. And now I want you to place your fingers are going to be upwards. So can you see that for me? The fingers are going to be upwards. And my palm should be to the right because that's the direction of my proton. So like this. Which one is your, uh, not palms, sorry, my thumb. So fingers upwards, thumb to the right. That's the velocity. And can you see my palm is pointing out of the page? Try that here on this diagram here. So now watch the screen. So this one right here, uh, watch my uh, drawing here, my pencil. So can you see this here is my, pro, uh, my positive particle here. It moves to the right. You place your right hand so that your fingers are pointing upwards, so that your thumb is pointing to the right. And can you see your palm points out of the page? The problem is how do I draw that? I can't. I'll just say curves out of the page. That's all I can say. It's going to curve out of the page. So because I said it curves out of the page, I can't really draw that, can I? Imagine this. I mean, if you look at it like this, it's going to go like this. It's going to curve out of the page like that. I mean, that's why you can't really draw it, but you can describe it. You can say it's going to curve out of the page. It's going to lift up out of the page and curve around. 
So that's an example of how you can describe it without actually drawing it. And finally, I have another example here for you. A neutron, uh, let me just see, I think that was the last example, yeah. So a neutron this time, it moves to the right in a magnetic field. This time the magnetic field lines are down. Draw the path of the neutron. So try that yourself right now. And I'm waiting. And you might wonder, which hand rule do I use? Do I use the left or the right hand rule? And I hope you'll see it's a neutron. Think of it carefully. This is a trick question. Does a neutron have a negative charge, so I'd use my left hand rule? No. Does a neutron have a positive charge, so I use my right hand rule? No. What does a neutron have? No charge. So I don't use a hand rule. It's a trick question. This neutron is going to move through undeflected. It's just going to pass like this. Undeflected. That's because it has no charge. So that's how you can deal with it. That was a sneaky trick question, wasn't it? So do you see how you can deal with a lot of these things? And if you have currents going through, then your thumb is going to be the current. You could figure out the force acting on things in magnetic fields just by using these hand rules from Star Wars. Your fingers are the magnetic field lines, your thumb is the velocity or the current, and then your palm is the force. So just think, use the force, just use that. Isn't that awesome?